This exercise is a spinal extension, in particular a backbend for the middle part of the spine. And we're going to add some left-right movements to add a rotation element to it. In terms of the setup of equipment, I love to do my backbending over my piano stool. The surface area means that the whole of the weight of my head can be supported and I don't have to have my head in any extension, which feels totally supported and comfortable. It's a relatively small surface area, so I can emphasize one or two vertebral junctions to, to do the back bend, and that's very important in my own back because there's two or three parts of the spine that tend to always be a little bit more restricted than others, so I can pinpoint it via this apparatus. And I also love the lengthening effect of reaching out and holding on to something. We have ladder bars in our facility, but equally you could use a heavy table and just hold on to the underside edge. This is wood, it's a little bit uncomfortable to go directly onto there, so I'm gonna pad it up with a cushion, like so. So let's get into it. Support yourself as you lower down and position the edge of the piano stool exactly in the part of the back that you wanna emphasize the back bend. For me, it's about here, and I'll be able to wriggle around a little bit to move it should I need to. My hips are lifted initially. Head is supported beautifully. And I really wanna be a sufficient distance away so that I feel like I'm really having to reach out in order to hold on to the ladder bars. And I'm not gonna do a full palm gripping. I'm just gonna hold on with the fingertips. And I find for some reason that allows me to relax more than if I'm holding on with a firm palm grip. I can wriggle around as much as I need to. Today I feel like I want a little bit higher up the spine. And then I'm going to do a range of things to emphasize the back bend to begin with. I am actively reaching the arms off the body. You can also think about shrugging the shoulders up towards the ears. I'm attempting a heel hooking action on the floor as though I was trying to do this. And that has the effect of pulling my hips away from my fingertips. So it's a lengthening effect. And only when I've set up that lengthening aspect do I then start to lower the hips down towards the floor and back towards the piano stool to bring on that full back bend? And I focus on breathing as deeply as I can across the chest and across the upper part of the ribs. Picture the ribs and the chest being moved maximally via the breath in and out. Now we'll do a three part contraction. The first thing I'm going to start to do is try to pull the shoulders down towards my hips. Imagine the first part of a chin up, so that's a lat contraction. Then I'm going to think about doing a strong upper abdominal curl and I'll feel the part of my back that's resting on the piano stool start to press in. And the third part is to do a chin to chest action. It's the very powerful contraction. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, relax all the effort of the contraction. Take another deep breath in. And as you breathe out, reach the arms off the body, hook with the heels and lower the hips even further. So now I'm at my maximum thoracic extension. Breathe and relax. All right, here comes the side to side. I'm gonna let go of one of the hands. So make sure you've still got a reasonable fingertip grip on that one hand on the bar. Then I'm gonna to start to lower my legs to the side and lower my hips down even further towards the floor. You might find the lower leg is fully on the floor. And now I've got this full line under stretch through here. It's a little bit into here as well. It's powerful armpit stretch. And then I'm gonna take this free hand and put it on different parts of the ribs and use that to maximally wind on the fascial dimension. So I'm doing this and this with that hand. Wow, that's strong. I could try a few different hand positions here. The final thing I can do to wind this on is I'm gonna move my hips away from camera. And that just 
brings it on even more powerfully through this whole line. You'll find all sorts of different little spots are very, very intensely being stretched there. Come back to the center, quickly show you the other side. So grab on, lower the hips again, so maximum extension. Rotate the knees to the side, lower the hips even further. Use the spare hand to move the ribs around. It's not moving the ribs actually, it's moving all the surface tissue on top. And then move your hips away, sideways away from the hand that's holding onto the rail. Breathe. Another feature of the stretch therapy system is to use a tactile cue like a hand to direct your breathing into different spots. Just the feel of that hand allows you to emphasize where the breath is being focused. To come out, always come back to the center position. Lift the hips up, use the hands to help the head start to come up. And then just make sure you're not going to slide off the support precipitously. Because it's a back bend, we always want to do some kind of strong counter forward bend. Wow, that is extremely powerful and gets into so many different tissues in this part of the body. Give it a go.